Background checks have nothing to do with taking guns away from anyone. Mayors Against Illegal Guns has begun an ad campaign to be seen in 13 states, including right here in Ohio. New York Mayor Michael Bloomberg leading the charge. I think I've spent $12 million on running ads. The ads are meant to urge senators to approve stricter gun law legislation regarding background checks. I think it's uh, about time that somebody could, uh, you know, stand up to the NRA and, and let them stop owning everybody. Opponents, most notably the NRA, call the campaign an effort to use big money to sway opinion. He can't buy America. The gun lobby, well-funded themselves, says the issue is not about money, but about individual rights. He can't spend enough of his 20 seven billion dollars to try to impose his will on the American public. Tell Congress don't protect criminals. But will these ads influence citizens to put pressure on their elected officials? Ads are good if it makes people understand. Two things that are said will be left off the main bill, the assault weapon and extended magazine ban. That's a little bit of uh, political maneuvering. If those key items were included, they would likely impede the chance of the bill's approval. It's harder, and one of the reasons that it's harder is because it's got the word ban in it. They may show up in later amendments, but because of the slim to no chance, we'll only placate those pushing for it. We've made the gun the idol, and that we can't regulate it at all, which is ridiculous. It seems lawmakers in favor of new legislation are making changes to accommodate items that have a better chance of making it through, and tossing aside those that don't. Chris Del Camp, WNWO News.